Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Spark to create a web page that will hold all of your blogs. So first I'm going to go here to Google and I'm just going to type in Adobe Spark and there it shows up and I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now you do need to create an account. Uh, I just usually use my Google account so there it is and I just click on that and then it's going to have this page here so I just click on personal account. So because I already have an account, it takes me right to my own homepage. And what it's going to give you here is a lot of different projects that you can do. As you can see, uh, just different graphics that you can post. You could do a photo collage. Uh, this one, again, this is the web page. Here is a great little uh, slideshow that you can do with pictures and even narrate over. So again, the one I'm going to show you is how to do this presentation. So if I go here to the plus sign, and then I go to web page, it'll take me to something like this. Now this uh, you can use for the different books we're going to be reading throughout the year. So I'm going to just put here, for example, speak, and I'm going to put my blogs. Okay. And I can put my name here maybe, right? So this is Miss Garcia. Now the cool thing is that it also gives you really uh, simple ways to access uh, pictures. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, if I have pictures on my computer, I could use that. But I always like to use, you know, some of the things they have here. It comes out really nice. So let's see. I'm going to go here. Now, because Melinda compared herself uh, or, you know, the teacher made her um, compare herself to a tree, I'm going to go ahead and put just there a tree. That seems to be an important symbol in the book. So uh, we'll wait. That loads. And so I can add all kinds of different things. So now let's see. I'm going to think of my symbolism here and say, okay, um, you know, which tree best symbolizes Melinda? Ah, there it is. You know, she's kind of alone, feels isolated. And so uh, if I don't want to have this Adobe stock in the background, then I would use one of these other uh, type of, uh, again, uh, you know, themes that are, that are available. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so now I'm down here and I'm ready to choose a text. So I'm going to go ahead and start writing. And this is where I'm going to put my first blog. Now, remember, a blog is like a journal, so it's very free-flowing. I want to hear your voice. It's, it's first person. Again, we're working on your style. So I'm going to go ahead and title this blog number one. And this is going to be for, let's say, the first maybe few chapters of the beginning of the book. Um, I could choose a quote that I like to analyze. Maybe I want to uh, summarize a little bit of a scene or a character and then talk about it. So I'm going to say, you know, uh, in the first uh, scene, Melinda finds herself completely alone. She calls herself an outcast, right? All right. So in so you know here's my little connection to the book and now I'm gonna go ahead and start you know writing about what I think about this so um, uh, you know I uh, see this happen quite a bit in our society especially in school right where young people feel different from everyone else. They feel like they don't belong, especially, you know, as you're starting high school, ninth graders, I might go into a story uh, related to myself, how I also uh, might have felt that way when I was starting school for the first time, either in high school or college. So then I related to myself. I might talk about the isolation people are feeling right now during uh, the pandemic. Uh, I'm going to go back to the novel and maybe find another quote. And so it is really a conversation between you and this book that you're sharing with the outside world. So I can have that. I can add another image here if I wanted to. So I'm going to add another image. Uh, let's see what else. I want to go here to free photos and I want to find a picture of maybe school because that's where she seems to spend a lot of time. And so um, again, kind of a place to show that she's kind of by herself. And again, I do the same thing. I could do now blog number two. And I write my next journal, right? So now, what do I do after that? After that, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, if I want to see what it looks like, I could just go here and it'll load it. And now here's, you know, this uh, beautiful looking, professional looking website. Uh, and even, you know, sites your, the credits gets credit to those uh, who created uh, 
uh, this website, right, or the pictures. Now, I'm not quite done. Now, how do I get it to be shown to others? So I go to share and I go to publish. Okay, so now it's going to create. It's going to ask me a few things. You know, what's your name? Do you want to uh, give it another category, right? So I'm like, no, everything looks good. So I'm going to hit create link. It's going to create that for me. And so this is the link I want to use. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it either on Canvas or on my uh, Spark Notes. Um, sorry, on my Padlet page. So wherever I need to go. So I could go there and just, you know, uh, again, attach it somewhere. Now, very important that if I go back to working, I could go back and add more. So let's say I read a little bit more and now, you know, I'm on blog number eight, right? Number eight, there it is. I'm writing, writing, right? I add my picture. So now I updated this. So I, what I need to do is go back to share and hit publish again. And you'll see this little lightning bolt type of thing and you want to hit that. It'll say update link because they will not update it automatically. It's not like Google Docs. So you have to keep doing that every time you add something new. So there's my link again. I can copy it and then again, I can paste it on Padlet so I can share with others. Now, this is not a public blog, meaning no one's going to comment on yours. So that's what kind of I like about it. But just remember that it does belong to the company, right? You're using their free stuff. So I would always advise that you, you know, take screenshots or that you, you know, copy paste your blogs onto maybe a Google Doc just in case the website decides to like not work or they decide, hey, you know what, we're going to change our business. So remember that this is not your property. It's your just, uh, you know, kind of uh, taking a little space of their property. So just little, little hits there. All right. Hopefully that worked out. Um, thank you very much. And I hope uh, you can, you know, you blog away. All right.